guys, it's Wednesday and I hope that you are well. I am filming in the living room because I was cold and I was just sitting in the sofa and I just felt like taking a nap but I really want to put up a video today because I haven't put up one for like five days or something. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about how I managed to have all of this loose hair and still have so many dreadlocks without it all tangling up in one big dreadlock. Um, it's something that I often get a lot of questions about. Also, I get a lot of questions if like my dreadlocks are starting further down. This is something that I've talked about quite a lot recently. And it's not like that. I just have a lot of loose hair, as you can see. But all of my dreadlocks are dreaded all the way up to my scalp. But if we look at all of my loose hair, like all of this is loose hair. And I can like keep just adding hair. All of this is loose and all of this is loose. Um, I got so much of that. So I completely understand why some of you are like, how do you manage to keep all of that loose hair without it having tangled up into your dreadlocks? So one of the things I actually recently started doing is something that I haven't done for long, like maybe a month or so. And it's something I do like every third time that I wash my hair. Um, I wash my hair about twice to three times a week, uh, mostly three times a week. So it's Monday, Wednesday and in the weekend, like Friday or Saturday. And what I've started to do is that I'm actually using conditioner. This is just a repair and re renewal, renewal. <laughs> um, and it should protect and make my hair stronger. So I actually just wash my hair with shampoo as I normally do. I use the Dali Locks Nac Champa shampoo at the moment that I really like. And when I've washed it with shampoo, I just um, turn off the water and then I just spend a couple of minutes trying to like reach out for all of the loose hair that I have. And I like collect that in my hand and then I put in some conditioner. I let it set for a couple of minutes maybe and then after that I'm gonna wash it out and it really helps it does make my hair feel so much softer um, just by using a bit of conditioner and this is not even a special one it's just one that I bought because I needed one or wanted to try it out I've had partial dreadlocks for such a long time now and and honestly it was something that I started doing just a couple of months back maybe one month so what I have been doing before then is also something that I do now when I'm not using conditioner when I go shower. This is what I do instead. Um, then after I've been taking a shower I just wash my hair with shampoo. And after that I use this from Dali Lux. It's the Tea Tree Spearmint Refreshing Spray. Refreshing Spray. Um, I use that just to like freshen up my hair and it smells amazing. Um, but what I've used the most, and this is so greasy because I've used it so much, it's almost empty. But it is that I use my Dolly Lux Nax Champa Conditioning Oil. And it's so amazing. I just put some oil down um, in my hands. And then I start with my dreadlocks because I always want to keep my dreadlocks kind of moisture. It's just that condition, uh, conditioner is not the best thing. So I use this oil from Dolly Lux instead. And I just put some out on my hands. And then I start from like my dreadlocks, um, put some out in them, and then I use like the very rest of it. I just put that up in all of my loose hair. Um, and that's actually what I do. And I love using this and it smells absolutely amazing. When I just started using it, one of my friends were like, you smell like incense. And I was like, why do I do that? And it's because of my oil. So it actually smells and people can like smell it. And I just love it. Sometimes when I've been putting in those things, I just quickly just brush all of my loose hair just a little bit, if I want to. It's not often that happens, but sometimes. Um, so, is it easy to have partial dreadlocks, or if it like is it or is it like really difficult? I would say it's pretty easy. I have some loose hair in the back, like only just. As you can see, there's not a lot, but there is some loose hair. That's quite annoying, annoying actually, because it does get tangled up in dreadlocks. Um, and it does just look 
a bit, I don't know. It doesn't look so good. It looks like something I should take care of, but... Okay. Two seconds. That was the postman. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes my hair in the back does get tangled up in some of my dreadlocks and it's quite hard to take care of. There's not a, um, enough loose hair to actually make new dreadlocks and there is like, I don't know, but there is quite a lot on the back as well. The, the hair in the front is pretty easy to take care of because it's pretty much all of my um, forehead hair. <laughs> All of the hair in the front is kind of loose, so it doesn't really get tangled up a lot because there's so much of it. Um, so that's easy, but there is some in the back. That's pretty annoying sometimes. But yeah, that is what I do. That's how I take care of my partial dreadlocks and how I moisture my dreadlocks. So um, I hope I managed to cover up the main questions there might be when it comes to partial dreadlocks. If not, comment down below and I will try to answer you guys. And also, if you have any like subjects when it comes to dreadlocks you would like for me to cover up, then comment down below. There might be some subjects that I covered up like many years ago on my channel that maybe you want a follow up video, like things could have changed. So comment down below if you're interested in that. My dreadlocks are gonna turn four years old in next week so I'm gonna be doing a special video for that um, so subscribe if you aren't that's gonna be so much fun I think like four years old that's a lot um, but yeah that was today's video and I hope that you enjoyed it I hope it was okay I'm sorry that I'm so busy things will get back to normal if after like the weekend um, I'm just so focused on getting things done and I don't know so I hope you can be okay with that and accept that I'm just a bit busy and then I'll see you again back to normal schedule next week. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.